we had some very sad news yesterday. Um, wonderful artist died. Canadian realist Ken Danby. Um, Ken Danby was the first Canadian artist that I really liked. And he is the artist who introduced me to realism. And I, I absolutely love his work. He was only 67, and he died of a heart attack. I think he was canoeing with his wife. So that's sad loss. Great Canadian artist. Anyway, um, thought I'd let you know that uh, we got our assignments back, and I got a. 80%, so that's not too bad. Um, I've discovered that you can't, if what you were was an English major, you can't apply that here to this course. You have to apply your, you have to apply your linguistics teaching and, uh, no being artsy with these guys. They are not not about to take that. <laughs> no, not that eighty percent is bad, Mark. So, uh, but I'll change the way I write for the next time. Um, yeah. So that's that's my update on that. Uh, and on a lighter note, uh, do you know why it is that when people get up too quickly, they get dizzy? and animals, for instance, cats, none of whom are around at the moment, why they don't uh, get dizzy when they get up too quickly. Uh, I guess they don't do that. Anyway, um, it's because we're this tall and our hearts have had to uh, develop differently. They have to be capable of pumping the blood from the tips of our toes to the top of our heads and that extra I think it's a valve that gives us the capability of having blood pumping all over all around our body when we get up from being down on the ground to standing up we get dizzy because it's still pumping madly like it did before to uh, keep us blooded is uh, overcompensating and we get dizzy. So I've done the whole gamut of from death to lifeblood. Have a good day, folks. See ya.